In this video, I'm going to be talking about the L3 and the L3 Low Latency. L3 came about in 2004 as a multiband limiter. L1 and 2 are wideband limiters, so with those two, a lot of the energy in the limiting is being dictated by what's going on in the low end. So if all the power in your mix is in the lower end with sub-bass, etc., that low end is going to be driving the limiter more. With a multiband limiter, you can control it better and tell it to overlook those powerful frequencies and create a much better balance across the frequency spectrum. You can concentrate more on limiting your mids and highs and pretty much tell the plugin to ignore the low end if that's what you need. The L3 also has linear phase crossovers, and that's one of the ways we've managed to keep this plugin so transparent. Here's how it works. With linear phase crossovers, the L3 compensates for any harmonic distortion that it comes across and gives you a completely transparent end result, just like the Waves linear phase EQ does. To put it another way, it doesn't have an opinion on what you're doing. Whatever tweaks you've put in your mix is what you're going to end up with. The L3 is totally transparent. Piano. To get the most out of this plugin for mastering, you really need to pay attention to not only which bands you choose to limit, but also the crossover points. A lot of people in the past have tended to dig themselves into a hole by pretty much paying no attention to these crossover points. These are going to help you fine tune which parts of the frequencies you're really limiting and exactly what the end result is, so make sure you spend some time with them. We supply a PDF manual with every single plugin, and it's all explained in there. You're always going to find the PDF manual for every plugin by clicking this little question mark at the top of the waves bar. In the L3, the crossovers are linear phase crossovers. In the low latency series, we moved to non-linear phase crossovers, so you get the multiband limiting with very little harmonic distortion or coloration, and you get incredibly low latency with that power. And as I said, with the low latency, you can use them in the mix as well as on the master bus. Mm -hmm. 